I mean, before I go to the part where you know you you sell your soul to the to the shareholders and, and potential shareholders, I, I just want to put something f for your thoughts. Like most of the stories we get, uh, there's a journey to where you are now, whereas you almost stepped into it. How much of an advantage is that for you as the MD and your shareholders and people who are funding you? Because I think you just recently raised four mil. Yeah. Do you guys step back and, and start pinch yourself that you've walked into something so advanced in the stage? Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. We, we've certainly um, leapfrogged, you know. Uh, yeah. We've leapfrogged the discovery phase. <laughs> of course, normally during the discovery phase, the share price goes, you know, up and then sort of comes back uh, into, you're in the, into the valley of death. That's yeah. right, we, we, we cut through the, the yeah. valley of death. And, and look, I, I can be upfront. People know me for being upfront. You know, metallurgical results are not the sexiest thing to be putting out, you know, into the marketplace. And so I think this story, and it's already reflected in the way our share price has gone. You know, we had a bit of a kick, but we've we've seen a gradual increase. You know, we've doubled now. Um, yeah. You know, from 0 0.7, 0 0.8 to you know 1.3, 1.4, in through there, because this is more of a slow burn story. You know, as we get this, as we you know, educate the marketplace. Um, people can see, you know, the advantages of the, you know, of the of the project up front, and and so we can, you know, we've got then the other things at the end of the at the at the back end, you know, people can see that we're working on those. So provided that those results keep coming in positively, people will see that we have the chance to be, you know, the next A4N, um, and you know, and get the share price, you know, moving, you know, slowly and gradually in the right direction, but. It is another reason that we still have, you know, our other projects, which we won't dwell on. We've got the Explore. We'll have some results from that, you know, uh, coming forward. There's no drilling there, um, but we mentioned our Arkan project here in the Wheat Belt. You know, that we're still maintaining that project. Um, we're going to be able to provide, um, you know, ongoing exploration results. And forgive me for going on a little bit about the advantages. The other advantage of the whole metallurgical test work and the nature of the deposit is that the money in the PFS is in the, the order of a few million dollars. You know, it's not tens of millions of dollars like, you know, like De Grey, you know, going through their massive pre-feasibility study. We're talking, you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars to get the PFS done, as is a few million. So that allows us with the money that we raise, you know, to actually continue exploration and also provide some exploration results, you know, um, uh, to, uh, you know, whilst we're in the, in the development stage of the, uh, of the, the Lake Hope project. That's, that's what my point is. I think I like about the potential here is that for a little bit of money, you can advance a lot. And, and I mean, in this market here, I mean, what I call, this is the norm of our market. Yeah. The last two years was a, a honeymoon, or a, a anomaly yeah. in our market, because everyone suddenly thinks that that was the norm. <laughs> Whereas, you know, I've been through this, yeah. and this is the norm, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is our comfort zone. Oh, uh, my it. goodness. Um, yeah. But this is kind of stuff that I always tell my guys, look, you look at these kind of projects, you gotta look at the project technical and you look at the guys running it and then take that position when you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. But this is the kind of stuff where the uncertainty of the resource or uh, has passed. That's right. Now it's, the, I mean, everything is a challenge as we know yeah. in our industry. Yeah, absolutely. But, but at least this is, you, you can see the comfort. And bulk commodities work, are yeah. not sexy, I always, I, I always use food for an analogy. It's yeah, like right. selling noodles, right? <laughs> yeah. Everybody eats noodles. Yeah. You, know? you, yeah. you, you make that noodle taste a bit different. Um, it just doesn't work. Yeah. But if it's the standard stuff, you know, your pasta, you know, sells all the time. Yeah.